Hey guys, it's Al from TechAirs.com, and I am back with an unboxing and overview of the Google Pixel 9 Pro Fold. Uh, this is Google's folding phone. So, yeah, T-Mobile was nice enough to send this out to me. Um, I asked for it because I have reviewed every single one of the Samsung Fold phones, and I have yet to use anything other than a Samsung Z Fold. So I wanted to try something different. I wanted to experience something different from a different company, a different look in foldables. Um, I've had a hard time getting a hold of any other foldable phones. So this is kind of great for me to get. This is the uh, obsidian color, I believe, black. In, in other words, black. They come in porcelain and obsidian. Um, and I'm going to unbox it. And we're just going to have a brief overview of it. We're going to take a look at it. Excuse me. We're going to take a look at it <clears throat> uh, next to the Z Fold. This is the Z Fold 6. We're going to take a look at the two side by side. And uh, just to have a comparison, kind of just give my thoughts about it. Yeah. So I'm back. Uh, if you didn't catch my podcast yesterday, Gripecast, the least listened to podcast on the internet, make sure that you tune in. And make sure you subscribe to listen to that podcast. We are on all major podcast platforms. Also, I don't do this very often. I need to do it more. But make sure to uh, put links down below um, to my Gripecast t-shirts and my Tech Airs t-shirts. Make sure you uh, hit that shop up. I believe we're having a sale right now. So you can get yourself a Gripecast t-shirt or a Tech Airs t-shirt and rep the brand for me. I would highly appreciate that not only as a purchase, but as a free advertising for me. I appreciate that highly. So back to the Pixel 9 Pro Fold. I'm going to unbox this guy. We'll go over some uh, specs on my desktop. We'll switch over that in a minute. But let's take a look and see what we have here. Um, I've never experienced a an unboxing for the new Pixels. So this is a little pull tab here, a little pull tab here that to the side I think it just slides out yeah it just slides out this way so this is your your outer kind of cardboard just plain black obsidian I'm sorry gotta get those colors right and this is your inner box and we pop that open and here is your phone wrapped in paper there like a it's like a plastic paperish thing get a USB-C to USB-C cable and documentation don't think that there's a sim ejector tool there and that's well that's pretty much all you get right there that's all you get hopefully it's got some charge to it we're going to pop this open like this and we're just going to put everything to the side as we're done with that and there is the phone and I will put this out right away got some dust on there there is your fold 6 Samsung and your pixel on this side Um, similar, this is much thinner. Let's see, let me put them uh, much wider. Let's see. I also got to play with my mic. Come on, camera right here. There we go. Come on, give me some focus. So that is definitely thinner all right here we are uh, so we have USB-C mics and sim card speaker on the bottom and on this side we have the volume rocker and the power button on this side we have um, more mics looks like antennas and nothing on that side so let's power that guy up again. Not again, but let me power it up. 
and see what we got. There we go. There it says the has the Google logo. And we'll put, uh, let me lower the brightness on this guy here. Put that right over here. You can see the width difference here. I'm putting that right in the center. And it's quite a bit wider. It's interesting to me. And we'll put them side by side this way. Yeah, that's a definite difference in, wow. Yep. Well, let me let me set this up real quick. I'll be right back. All right, I am back, guys. Got the Pixel 9 Fold, excuse me, Pro Fold, Pixel 9 Pro Fold set up, and here it is. So that is definitely something different. Um, definitely going to have to get used to some of these features here, especially with the power button is actually at the top compared to the Z Fold 6. Wow, that is crazy. Look at that difference. That's significant as far as the width goes of this fold of the 9 Pro Fold compared to the Z Fold 6. That I mean, I'm I'm in shock with that. I I knew it was different. I had this is the first time I've 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 used this device. I've touched it. As far as the the height, they're almost the same height. There's not a whole lot of difference in height. Very, very, the difference between width and height is that significant. This is a little bit, but it's not not as much. So, uh, as, as I was saying, Samsung's power buttons on the bottom, volume rockers on the top, whereas Google's is on the top, power button and volume rocker on the bottom. So I have to get used to this. I kind of like having the power button down here it's easier for, at least for me, I think, to um, get to with uh, with my thumb, and rather than having to go up like this, it's down here. But you know, I'll get used to it. I think. Uh, let's see here. The this is where I think this is the most significant difference. I mean, the in, inner the inner display is a, a difference, yes, but this outer display. I love this phone. Okay. I love the Z Fold 6. Don't get me wrong, but that right there, that makes it, this feels more like a regular size smartphone on the outer display. And that is significant to me because it gives me more room to actually look at it. I mean, not look at it. I mean, I'm just at a loss of words right now. You know, I do these unboxings and I don't, I don't write anything for these videos. This is pure first look reactions. So I'm reacting with you here uh, at, at this phone, but this display on the outside is much nicer in terms of usability and size than this one. I rarely use this outer display on, on the Z Fold 6. I, if I ever use it, when I use this phone, I open it up and I use it this way. I don't use it any other way. Every once in a while to do something quick, I use the outer display, but it is so thin and narrow that it doesn't fit the content I want it. You know, it's not comfortable to read. And there's nothing wrong with it. It's a nice display. It's a nice phone. I love this phone, but I like this. The only thing I don't like right now, at least, is this the, the shape. It's kind of rounded edge here. It's kind of in interesting, but it's really not, it's thinner. Oh my God, is it thinner? It almost feels thinner than, it just is very slightly thinner than the Z Fold 6. That's, pretty amazing. Let me jump in to the specs. Let's go over the specs real quick and uh, explore this. Explore the specs. Oh man, I can't wait to play with this phone actually. Um, 
and we'll we'll get to the rest of this. I will get to the rest of this. I'm going to go over this. So we have a 6.3 inch um, external cover display. So that's 6.3 inches on the on the outside, with a 20 point uh, 29 aspect ratio, and a uh, 1080 by 24 by 24. It's an OLED 420 422 PPI, 60 to 120 hertz variable ref- refresh rate, Gorilla Glass on the outside, 1800 nits of brightness, 2700 nits of peak brightness. That's excellent. HDR support, full 24-bit depth for 60 million colors. The internal display is 8 inches, called the Super Actua Actua Flex Display. Uh, 2152 by 2076 at 373 PPI. Uh, So a little less on the PPI. Same, well, a little bit less bright on HDR, but same peak brightness. Same 24-bit depth. Uh, the multi-alloy steel hinge, 24-hour plus battery life, up to 72 hours battery life with extreme battery saver, uh, 4650 milliamp hour battery, 16 gigs of RAM, 256 or 512, and storage, and it's running the Google Tensor G4 with a Titan M2 security coprocessor. And of course, it has all the, the Gemini stuff, all the AI stuff is built in there. Uh, and I'm, I'll, I'll leave this up on the screen. You can look at the cameras, but it has a wide camera, ultra wide camera, telephoto camera, and we know that Google's done some good stuff with software on on their cameras. So I don't have any. I don't think that these cameras are going to be bad. I think they're going to be good. Uh, Pro control, super res zoom, 4K video, you know, all, all the bells and whistles. And I'll link this all down below so you can look through this at your leisure. Uh, seven years of OS upgrades and security upgrades. Uh, Android 14. And, of course, fingerprint, face unlock, all that kind of stuff. Proximity sensors. There's a lot of stuff on this guy. But I'm really, really more shocked at... And it's a, it's seventeen ninety nine for this. I don't know what they sent me here as far as storage and everything goes. Let me have a quick look and see what is uh, on this particular device. I think it's probably a 256. They don't usually send out um, the devices with uh, with uh, the 512 for review units. I mean, if they did that, they'd have to. It's a lot of money they spend when they send send these around. Let's see here. All right, I think it's a 256, and yeah, so that's in the, But you get the 12, I think 12 gigs of RAM. All that, all that other stuff is all there. But really, what I really want to do is unbox it, and and I really just wanted to compare um, the two, the two big boy phones here side by side, and I wanted to kind of give my first impression, first reactions. This is this is wow. Get out of here, mouse. This is. This is crazy. This fold, the nine pro fold. Now, wow. This is. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to process this, guys. I'm gonna have to process this because that's pretty stinking amazing. Um. Just, just that looking at these two side by side. I like the inner display on the Z Fold 6. I always have. But even this extra few, whatever the difference is, I think this is 7.3 and this is 8 inches. So even this extra, you know, 0.7 inches or whatever it is, is significant on the inner display. But what's really mind-blowing is the outer display, which I think this one is... 6.3 6.3 and this one is 5. Point, or 6. Point, maybe it's 5.9. I'll have to look that up. But that is it. What well, I am shocked. You know, I've watched I've watched reviews and I've read reviews on this on this device and um you know 
I, I, I don't, I have to look at things before I can have a reaction. You know, I can see other people's reactions and, and listen to them, but I wanted this in my own hand to really understand what they were reacting to. So if, if at all, go to your local Best Buy and get your hands on this, especially if you're a Z Fold 6 owner. Just take a look at this thing. That's just crazy thin. And I'm no fan of Google as a, as a um, search company uh, or as a software company, really. But um, this is an interesting phone. This is a very interesting phone to me. It feels nice. And, I mean, it, holy crap. That's my iPhone here. That's my iPhone in my hand. I mean, let me take the iPhone out. Hold on a second. I can take it out of this case. I want to see. Let me turn the brightness on this now because this is not full blast and it's going to blow the camera out like nobody's business. Turn that off. I mean, really, it's not that much thicker than the iPhone. So this is a 15 Pro Max. It's not that much thicker. And you get uh, two displays on this. The Z Fold 6, on the other hand, is quite a bit thicker. Wow. That That's... That's impressive. Um, I don't usually give Google a whole lot of credit on things, but that's impressive. So, you know, full reviews coming. I can't give a whole lot more than, than my first reaction here. This is, this is what I have. Um, this is on sale right now. The, the pro, the nine pro fold is on sale right now for 1499 on Google's website. Um, I don't know what the price on the Samsung is right now. Of course, the new 16 Pro Max is out, but this is, this is pretty impressive. So, hey guys, that is the unboxing and quick, not even a quick overview. I kind of rolled on a bit, but that was my overview and my first look at the nine Pro Fold from Google. And I am actually excited to use this. To be honest with you, I was expecting, I was I was supposed to get the 16 Pro Max um, from Apple. Uh, well, T-Mobile was supposed to send me that, and this showed up. Um, so I was a little bit disappointed that I didn't get the Apple 16 Pro Max like I wanted, the iPhone. But uh, I'm actually pleasantly surprised that they sent me this. So it'll be interesting to use this. That'll be fun. So, hey guys, thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, uh, share with your friends. Uh, get the word out about independent media. Legacy media is dead. Uh, quit going to these uh, other uh, big tech sites that are run by big corporations that are owned by big corporations. Stick with us, uh, small guys. You know, I don't care if you're, you're you come to me or you go to other independent YouTubers and independent websites. What matters is that you help independent media grow, and that's the main thing. We appreciate you. I appreciate you guys helping me. And uh, watching, I appreciate you watching, following, and uh, liking, subscribing. Make sure you buy some shirts. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and we will talk to you on the other side. <laughs>